Blog post layouts of Elementor are amazing, especially with a loop grid. But what if you wanted to do something a little bit imaginative like this, where you've got quotes appearing? By the way, this is not using any extra plugin, no fancy code, and we're not even using the alternate templates from Elemental 3.12 beta. This is purely with the loop grid. Do you want to know how I did it? Let's have a look. This is going to be pretty simple if you follow this step. So please don't skip, otherwise you might miss something and then it might get a little bit complex but it's not. We're on the post page of WordPress. Now what you'll notice is I've got quite a lot of posts. These are all fake posts. But every other post has no title, no title, no title, no title. Now all of the no title ones currently fall into the WordPress category. And all of the ones that do have a title have the squadron category. You might have called, I mean, I could have called these ones here where there's no title quotes or something like that. Give it whatever name you want. The only reason I'm telling you to do this is it makes it easier if you ever want to change what I'm about to show you, okay? Now, let me just show you the difference between um, the ones with the title and without the title. Let's go and edit uh, with the title and we'll also edit without. So here's a post with a title. It clearly has a title. And if you were to scroll down, eventually down here, you can just see it with my mouse there. I have a featured image, okay? There is a featured image, but what you might notice and you might not see it below, there is no excerpt, okay? I'm gonna move myself. So just to reiterate, we have a title. You would obviously have content in there as well because it's a blog post at the end of the day, but we have a featured image and we have no excerpt, okay? If we go to the other one where we have no title, we also don't have a featured image. No title, no featured image, but we do have an excerpt. Okay, the excerpt bit is for me a little bit important as to what we're gonna do. And there we have it. Does that make sense, okay? So let me just quickly say it again. Title, image, no excerpt, no title, no image, with an excerpt, okay? And then make sure you put it into the right category. Right, let's just close both those down. That's what we did there. Now what we're gonna do is open up a new page. Believe me, it gets really simple after this. Let's just go over and drop in the loop grid. You do have to have Elemental Pro, you gotta have the Flexbox activated and you gotta have the loop grid activated as well. We're gonna drop that into there. The very first thing I'm gonna do before we start designing the template is I'm gonna make this be a 1000 boxed width, okay? It's a good idea to do this when you're doing blog posts, otherwise they might not look right, especially when you start to mess around with some of the values. Now let's start messing around with the template. So I'm gonna make sure I've clicked on the loop grid and I'm gonna click create a template. You always get this message to hit save, go away and do that. So let's just get started. First thing I'm gonna do is drop in a C2A or a call to action widget. The reason why I'm going for the call to action is because it comes with a lot of components for you like the image, header, button, all of that. I'm gonna remove loads of those there but I just wanna show you how that works. Now obviously when you drop the call to action in it does go and sit inside a container here. This is all within the template at the moment. So let's just click on the container first. I'm gonna zero out all of that so everything is up against the margins and borders. I'm also gonna give this a minimum height of 300. The first thing I'm gonna do is make the image be the background image. So I'm gonna click over here to where we have dynamic tag and I'm gonna click featured image. And one of our images will now pop up. I'm also gonna change this to be, to go from classic to cover. That then puts all the wording on top of the image like that. I'm going to set the image to also be a full. Now I'm going to get rid of loads of content. Let's get rid of uh, the content there, get rid of the title, and I'm going to get rid of the button text as well. I'm going to make the title be the post title. So click the dynamic tag and go and pick title like that. And we now have the title. I'm gonna go back over, well, I'm gonna go over to my style now. I'm gonna set this title to be on the left-hand side. I'm also gonna get it to sit at the bottom as well. We are gonna mess around with how this looks, and I know you can't see the text properly, but that will become clearer when I bring through the images I've got there. I'm also gonna get rid of the padding, and then I'm gonna just say, give me about 15 all the way around like that, okay? So you can position the lip. You can position it exactly how you want, okay? Let's do a few more modifications. So on the content, we're gonna go over to the typography and I'm gonna make this be Antonio, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just gonna make this be about 30 at the moment. Um, and I might even give it a bit of letter spacing. 
of about one, something like that. You can be much more specific. You would probably use REM. I'm just showing you how we can build this out. Now, if you recall, I gave the actual container over here a height of 300. So on the call to action, I'm going to give that a height of 300 as well. Basically, I'm trying to make sure that everything, I, I control the size of how everything sits within inside of there. Now, this is one element of what we're doing. And if you remember the design I showed you earlier, I also had some quotes. And I'm going to show you how you add that in and then how we get it to literally show different versions of what we want to see, but without having to use alternate templates. Let's just finish up with the call to action first. Again, click on the call to action, go to content. I should have done this earlier. Down here, we don't actually have this linked anywhere. So I'm going to put down here a dynamic tag and I'm going to say go to the post URL and apply this on the whole box. If you leave this set to the button, well, we don't actually have a button there. We removed all the content. So when I set it to the whole box, now when I hover or click anywhere on there, it will go to the post. One other thing you might want to do, though, is at the minute we do have a bit of style applied here. I'm going to get rid of that style by going over to the hover effect, and I'm going to say give me no and no like that, okay? I'm not really fussed about the style over there. I don't mind having a bit of a blend mode like that but I don't want any zoom effects going on. Now, before we move on to the quote thing, I'm gonna give the container above a background color. So let me just go over to container, go to style, go to background type, and I'm gonna type in a code, FFF3EB, something like that. It's just a bit of a salmon-y, slightly off salmon-y color over there. And let me now just hit update. Now you can't see the color, because the C2A widget is basically occupying it, okay? So the CTA uh, widget has an image, therefore you can't see the color. Now let's go and put in the quote. Let's go and grab the quote widget, which is this one here, and I'm gonna drop it in at the bottom. Now, as soon as I do that, look what's happening over here with the navigator. We have the call to action and we have the block quote. I'm now gonna modify everything we have on here. Let's just clear it all out, change it to be a quotation like that, get rid of the name and get rid of the tweet as well. Now, as far as the content goes, I'm gonna click the dynamic tag and I'm now gonna pick the post excerpt and the post excerpt will appear. Now, in this example, nothing appears because remember, post one, the ones with the image and the title do not have a post excerpt. Do your typography, do all of that. Um, you might wanna change your quote color as well. And we now view our page, this is how it's looking. And you can see that at the moment where we have a blank, I mean, look, it's basically alternating. It, it's doing what we want, right? Okay. So we're getting image with your, um, uh, with your title that you can click and it's going to take you over to design. But then we have this empty block quote. So we want to hide that. Where we do have the quote, we don't mind, but we want to hide it where we don't. So here's the steps you should follow. Firstly, go to the container and make sure that you've got the gap between the elements to be zero, okay? So that now, if you see what I did, if I put that back to how it was, the gap was a little bit bigger, you pop it to zero and it reduces it. Then click on the block quote, go to your margin, and now put a negative margin until it's completely hidden. Now, I believe it's probably gonna be something like minus, I don't know, we'll go with minus 95. Now, the problem with when you do that now is everything is kind of, like, look at the block quotes. They now look really, really weird. So go back to the container and now hit center. Now, you might go, why didn't you do that earlier on? The reason I'm showing you that now is that it starts to make sense. So, for instance, if you come here and this is how it looks, it's because you haven't centered the original container. Well, the container where the loop grid template sits within here. Remember, we're, all, we're still within the loop grid, everything we're doing at the moment. What we can now do, though, on the loop, uh, not the loop grid, sorry, the block quote, is do a bit more styling on it. So at the moment, I think that quote is a little bit too high. So I'm going to add in about 30 over there from the top for the padding. As soon as you do that, it pops back out again. So I'm just going to say, give me a minus 30 at the bottom there. So what I've done is rearranged or positioned that to be within that estate, like the 300 by 300 estate, and it looks okay. That, in a nutshell, is literally it. That's all you've got to do. Um, and what I'm now going to do is just, and by the way, you would obviously want to go and check how does this look on the mobile. So if I was to go here, 
go to mobile, you would probably add a bit of padding in on the, you know, the container left and right. I'm just going to change this to be uh, three columns wide. We're going to have nine showing and I'm going to go down to the query. I'm going to just set this to be ascending because it's the order I created everything. Okay, and look, you can now see my text and quotes have come pouring in. But here's the reason why I said give it a category. If I had gone in here and I had said exclude and I had gone for term and I think it was WordPress, wasn't it? And I do that to exclude it. Now we don't have the quotes. Okay, we just have the ones with images and text come in. Whereas if I was to get rid of that and say actually exclude the ones that were called squadron instead like that, now we would only get the quotes. Does that make sense? We get like we get this styling kicking in. But I'm just going to get rid of that because I want to show everything there. And if you want to make it look even better, what you can do is if I just hit edit template, you can add a bit of an overlay onto the images because they do look quite strong against the wording and you can't fully read the words over there. So if we go back over to say the call to action and we go down to the style to where we have the hover effect where I said we're not actually going to have a hover effect, I'm going to go in and put the same color that we had before which is triple F uh, three EB like that. I mean, I'm going to make it be quite transparent, something like that. So it kind of slightly you know, it makes the text bounce out a little bit more like that. I mean, I'm going to go to my block quote as well. And I'm now just going to drop this down to be, uh, let's just go for a gray color, something like that. Just looks a little bit better. I think this is really, really cool. And you can just do this. And <laughs> I think it's amazing. But I would say that. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.